introducing Wangeshi. Kama huu ni pendi basi exit, please. Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. My name is Jude and this is Valentine and this is Christ's Affection. So in today's video, we are going to be reacting to famous love quotes. Yeah. We are either going to be saying if we agree with them, if we do not, if we like them, if they make sense, if we have no comment yeah. at all. So let's get into this video. So the first quote uh, is by Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. He said that love is a better teacher than duty. Love is a better teacher than duty. Mm. 30, 70. I... 70% agree with it, 30% mm -hmm. do not, because I feel like, I don't know, personally, duty sends me to do a lot of things, because I'm generally a task-oriented person, so nikiwa na task na zifanya, nikijua, okay, I love this guy emotionally, or I love this thing, to establish that one emotionally, so what am I supposed to do to keep this thing going, or to ensure this love goes on? So, mimi kujituma tu, kujituma. It's probably not a good thing, but siri ya maisha ni kujijua, kujikubali. Okay, um, yeah, so me, me I tend to agree more with this quote mm -hmm. uh, than Val does. And I, I, I understand, the way I understand the quote is that when you're in love with someone or something that you're doing, then you'll do it wholeheartedly. But when you do something out of duty or out of obligation, then when you do not feel, when that feeling is not there, then you'll not do it. You can choose to forfeit it. Because love is, love is more than just a feeling. And the feeling of doing it out of duty, it has come to a point and una choka to yani. Especially kama ikwe reciprocated ama whatever to yani, it can change any time. So. Baka umejiambia taka spendu ina mina penda na pea na tunafanya vitu. Sa yu ndio, yu ni unconditional love. Eh, sa. Duty ya hezi ku motivate to fanya yu, but anyway. That's, that's just that's how, how I, I feel. That's, that's just how I feel. Anyway, Plato once said, at the touch of love, everyone becomes a poet. Mm -hmm. What you think, Ben? Um, well, I, I agree with it to some extent. Uh -huh. Like, if you look at the deeper meaning of that, uh, because when people are in love, they tend to do even things that previously they didn't think they could they do. They didn't even know they had it in them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They serenade you. They tell you things. Maneno zina pango, ayani, you know? Okay. Yep. So you also agree with it? 100%. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Next quote is by who? Um, Frank Sinatra. So he said that a, si a simple I love you. Uh, sorry, take two. He said that a, a simple I love you means more than money. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, Val left the conversation. <laughs> I left the group. Yeah, so for personally, I think yes and no. 16 year old me would say yes. <laughs> yeah, I think if you have money, then you can, you can have the luxury of uttering at you know? such words. <laughs> but when you're broke, <laughs> I, you, cannot even, you cannot afford hey, saying that. Hey, yeah. hey. Adulting has taught <laughs> us money is important. Yeah. She me you love money. Like when I love the love of money, the love of money is the root of all evil. But now in relationships, <coughs> we are not saying that you love someone because they are they have money. But we it's are saying, important. We are, we are saying, Nisquise. <laughs> we are not saying you love someone just because they, they have, have money, money, just because of that fact. Uh -huh. That should be a plus. Yeah. On top of you love them because of their character, their personality, and you feel that you have a connection with them, then if they have money, that's a plus, that's a bonus. But you cannot say that um, he has money, then we put a make it. Again, you cannot say that hakuna uh, pesa, so this relationship is genuine. You can't say that also. So, yeah. Money, money is important. Money, money is important. Just as love. Yeah. Bills True. are important to get mm, paid. Yeah. Food is important. Rent mm. is important. Yeah. That's, I, that's... I think we were on the same page. You're saying the same thing, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The giving of love is an education in itself. Mm. <clears throat> Who said that? Eleanor Roosevelt says okay. the giving of love is education in itself. Mm. Correct correct mm -hmm. like according to me i feel like yeah 
love is work love is education you need to know what these people like what they hate what they prefer when their love languages are changing what they don't like anymore where they want to be it's enough knowing about yourself but loving people and caring for people is education to just find out these things about them yeah it's true back in campus we had a joke that uh, when you graduated and you had a girlfriend or a boyfriend uh, people will say that if hey, i graduate na degree mbili yeah exactly and again any you keep you, you really need to have that um that drive or that push to the know effort. someone yeah. that exactly the yeah. effort to know someone because otherwise mtakorizana kila time and it won't be good mm-hmm. and, and just i think a month ago or two months ago i got to learn of the enneagram test again siku na joy kitu ni kwa single 3 months ago yeah 3 months ago like i didn't know of this personality test I only knew of the basic the basic one yeah, yeah. the basic one ile choleric, choleric. The, four, the the four personality types but I love the enneagram test because yeah so accurate like, yeah so accurate they know each other how different types like interact with each other so yeah. that has been very helpful yeah mm-hmm. so next quote is you don't marry someone you can live with you marry someone you cannot live without <laughs> the last part of that quote I do not agree mm-hmm. like it shouldn't it shouldn't be on anyone yeah. to live like that that you feel that you cannot live without someone else yeah that's very toxic but don't, don't give people such power mm. over you just mm. only jesus jesus mm. knows he should be like lakini yeah. ingine cuz sign is the same evil i'm the same evil the next minute i'm here mm-hmm. is he going to die it sounds like a really cute quote but honestly it's very toxic and don't subscribe to that not, not right but the first part i agree with it that do not marry someone oh no marry someone you can live with so actually yeah. i also disagree with the first part because it says don't marry someone you can live with so yeah yeah why why please marry someone you, you can, can live, live with mtachoma yeah. nyumba <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyway you know you are in love mm-hmm. when you can't fall asleep because reality is better than your dreams <laughs> No god please no 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 Dr. Sweet <laughs> This guy then is not yeah. in love cuz who you guy usingizie mm. ulala mm-hmm. immediately huh? like literally literally yeah. this quote does not make sense to me mm-hmm. but if you are a hopeless romantic you have played out scenes in your mind you have you, you have watched the movies and seen if you have a boo or a boo tag what you people will be doing together yeah. where you go how you hold hands how you watch the sunrise or set i must join in nini maybe now sound like you're narrating your thoughts can't be me <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sad person. Hapa nafikiri anga tu dunia ikiisha saa hii, apocalypse ikikuja, dinosaurs ikirudi. Guys, si mnakumbuka nikisema value za pessimism ndio hiyo ame admit tena. I'm a type 6. Enneagram type 6. Yeah. All we do is They worry a lot. We think about worst case scenarios mm-hmm. of things. Yeah. Yeah, so me in my head siwezi kwa nafikiria romance dreams and CG. Yeah, uh, but the deeper meaning uh, of of that quote is like especially during the first first days when you're in love with this person you know sometimes even you tend to sleep later than you're used to yeah you uh, need effort kio chat nini nini because finally reality is better than you sleeping for a few a few more hours hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so uh, next quote is by leo tolstoy and he said that when you love someone you love the person as they are and not as you'd like them to be what do you think um 50/50 about it uh-huh. because i feel like and especially for women yeah a natural instinct will come whether this person is your husband your boyfriend or your kid mm. it just comes naturally to us as women to nurture these people in a way that we want them to be mm. so you'll find that most wives want to change how their husbands do things or how they behave mm how their kids behave or what their kids do how they eat how exactly how they eat so niko 50-50 and sometimes we want to change these people for the best like for so that they can be a better version of themselves see that we are doing it oh. out of our selfish you oh. know ambition though sometimes it can though be selfish it could be selfish yeah. yeah so that's why i'm 50-50 about that quote 
Okay, yeah. So basically, I agree with the quote, uh, but I do not agree with. Uh, in, in theory, it's. I think in theory it's totally correct, but in practice, sir, we was not in a kwashida, because yeah. you you obviously want to change some aspect, at yeah, least some yeah, aspect of yeah, someone's yeah. nini. Uh, so I think action that one doesn't affect us straight, but yeah. the quote is okay according to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this one is by Lao Tzu. He says, being deeply loved by someone mm -hmm. gives you strength. Yeah. While loving someone deeply gives you courage. So, okay. the first part, being deeply loved by someone gives you strength. Do yeah, you agree? I, I, yeah, I agree. I, with I also agree with that, with that yeah. part. While loving someone deeply gives you, loving someone deeply gives you courage. Uh, for, for me, I think, um, courage is not a, an, an outcome or a fruit of loving someone deeply. I think it's the cause. Like you love someone deeply because you are courageous or it takes courage to love someone deeply. But I do not think if I love you deeply then I get, I gain courage by doing that. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, if yeah. you put it that way, if you put it, it's not a fruit of love. Courage is not a fruit of love, but the cause. What do you say? Yeah, like it, it's what it's your is the driving force to oh, yeah, you know yeah. you loving someone. Yeah, yeah, you need to true. be courageous true. and uh, yeah. You all watching this loving people out there. You're very courageous, <laughs> very courageous. But then to love someone takes a lot of courage and yeah. to admit it and to live by it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next quote uh, says that love is an act of endless forgiveness. I totally agree with that quote. You cannot be in a relationship yeah, yeah, with someone and mm. not be willing to forgive them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think the greatest act of love is not even gifting mm -hmm. or giving stuff. Yeah. Is forgiving. Just forgiving this person. Yeah. You and can quote me on that. Tweet that. Yeah. And in marriage, you, know, you, you spend most of your time with this person. Yeah. When you're not at work, you, you're with this person most of that time. So you're bound to fall out here and there. Yeah. So you have to be willing to forgive. In fact, the first, mm -hmm. the first initial years of marriage, mm -hmm. we do a lot of forgiving than giving your love. You know, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of forgiving. Yeah. Yeah, and, and actually, I love the definition of this person gave of forgiveness. Say that forgiveness is me giving up the right to hurt you for hurting me. Very deep and very truthful. That guy yeah. is smart. That guy is smart. Yeah. That guy is smart. Anyway, so this one says, love is of all passions the strongest, for it attacks simultaneously the head, mm -hmm. the heart, and the senses. No I, cap. No cap. No cap. We cap it not. Drops phone. I agree. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so last quote says that love is blind, but friendship closes its eyes. It's by, it's by Frederick Nietzsche. Frederico. Yeah, so I do agree, especially I agree with this quote, Sabia, sab the last part. Mm -hmm. Ikyo love is blind. Um, series, yeah, Netflix. Yeah, yeah exactly. You <laughs> kipindi, but you move, you only series. Mm -hmm. But in reality, uh, yes, it's love, true. love can be, be blind. It can be actually. blind, but it should be blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah you need to love with your eyes like open, sober like love. Wide, wide open. Sober love has to have you have to have your eyes open yeah. to love someone soberly but your senses are dead yeah. if you don't like... believe us go and watch dirty john yeah so, just watch dirty john it's but... a it's a series actually i think you gonna only five episodes or six yeah. episodes based two. on a true episode true, true life, life story stories, yeah. happened in the u.s just a few years ago less than 10 years ago mm. Everything. They just became blind and Soba that is just mental. Be blind. Mm, Soba yeah. love shouldn't be blind. Mm. Okay, so guys, we've come to the end of this video. Please leave a comment down below. Do you agree with some of these quotes or do you find them a little bit of a stretched or overstretched or too far stretched? Mm. And uh, thank you so much. Please leave a comment. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really boosts our channel. And um, subscribe. We are 13 people shy of 1K subscribers. Yeah. Please, let's make this happen. Mm -hmm. Like 13, ni family am too. Let's make this happen. Otherwise, thank you so much. We will catch you in the next video. Bye. I've always wanted to do that. Anyway. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it.
We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it.